about Tom Hanks from Splash? Hmm? Oh, like the movie Splash? Where he meets a mermaid and they fall in love? No, I think you're thinking of a different Splash. I'm talking about the Splash where he has a mental breakdown. There's a movie with that plot? With Tom Hanks? And it's also called Splash? I mean, I get why you would be confused because the Splash I'm talking about also stars Tom Hanks and has a mermaid, but it's actually a peek into the mind of a man who is disassociating. He imagines a mermaid to make himself feel better and rationalize his choices. It's an enchanting tale about a man and a mermaid that fall in love. Unless... It is from the point of view of Tom Hanks's character. Think about it. Tom Hanks can't fall in love. He is having relationship problems. He meets a mermaid the same day that his girlfriend moves out, the same day that she calls him, and he cannot admit that he isn't in love with her. Well, we, we met, and, and I, uh, w well, you moved in, didn't you? Love works in mysterious ways. The mind works in mysterious ways. He is sad. He does not like his job. His Brother is making him work all the time and screwing him over. Where the hell did I agree to that? Not you, your brother. And everybody is always yelling at him constantly, so he goes to a place where he almost drowned as a kid. I guess that is a little warning signy. So then he meets a scientist on the way, and then he almost drowns, maybe not so by mistake. Like he, like he tried to drown himself on purpose. A little dark. A lot of dark. But then he feels guilty when he doesn't drown because he feels like he shouldn't have killed himself. So he imagines a mermaid who can live on land for an arbitrary amount of days. Six days. Let's say six days. Somehow she knows how to have sex even though she has never had human genitalia before. Yeah. Those sex parts were previously fish. Exactly! Right. She has had a fish booty her entire life. And then she learns English in six hours from watching TV. And she falls in love with him after three days. This is not a real woman. Mermaid. This is a figment of his imagination to achieve dreams that he cannot achieve. She is a magic pixie dream girl. Magic pixie dream girl? Yeah! It's like a manic pixie dream girl, but she's magic. And instead of being the figment of the writer's imagination, she's the figment of the male protagonist's imagination. They already have a word for that. It's Pygmalia. It's based on the Greek myth about the sculptor who falls in love with his sculpture, and he asks the gods if he could bring it to life. No, no, it's gonna be magic pixie dream girl. But it's magic pixie dream girl! It's copyrighted me! Fine. Phrase coin. Think about it. Tom Hanks imagines his life to be better than it possibly could be. I guess he does make a lot of money for a guy that just sells fruit at the pier. I mean, she goes on a shopping spree with his money and he does have a nice apartment. Yeah, and he can't live in this hallucination forever, so he has to create a villain. The scientist on the beach, who just inexplicably knows that if you get a landed mermaid wet, it becomes a mermaid again. Wait, so if a mermaid can't get wet, how do they have sex? Uncomfortably and poorly. His subconscious has to create a villainous character that would make it impossible for her to exist on land. However, at the end of the film, she has the ability to make him into a man who can breathe underwater. Not a merman, a man who can breathe underwater. And then she takes him to her magical kingdom under the ocean, which means... Oh my god. He killed himself? Oh my God. That was his mind rationalizing killing himself as he walked into the ocean and he said, I'm just here to join my mermaid love? Yes! Yes! I don't mean to be cheering for death like this, but I like being right. Oh my God. Does that mean that all the magical girlfriends are just magic pixie dream girls and the male characters are disassociating and then rationalizing their crazy behavior? Uh. Sure. De definitely. Weird science is about teenagers who make the perfect woman. They're rationalizing feeling insecure. They don't know how to talk to girls or how to feel comfortable in their own skin. They're both having a breakdown and they're imagining a fake woman who can solve all their problems. Wait, they're having a joint hallucination? Seems more plausible than creating a woman on the computer and then projecting that computer program into real life. Oh my god. That means that mannequin could be about this guy who's obsessed with his work, that he forgoes relationships and even his own career for his art, but he rationalizes it by making making it into a woman. Oh, what if he feels guilt because he doesn't want to have sex with people? Like he's only attracted to objects. Like that's a, is that, that's a thing. Yeah, it could be both of those at once. Oh, uh, and, and Bewitched is just basically the story of a man who feels insecure about his wife wanting to be a working woman. I mean, you're going to have to learn to be a suburban housewife. I'll learn, you'll see, I'll learn. He views her choice to be a working woman as witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, I finally get to talk about Bewitched. 
Yes! So in the Bewitched pilot, Bewitched's husband asks her to stop doing magic and be a real housewife, a normal, regular housewife. You gave me your word, no more, uh... Stuff. <laughs> it's a little harder to break the habit than I thought. Well, you can do it. The times are a changing, all right? That mister needs to learn that women will do what they want. You go, girl. Oh, my God. And that means that I Dream of Genie is about a widower who's imagining that his dead wife is a genie and that the lamp that she lives in is actually the urn that holds her ashes. Oh, my God. I just made myself so sad. Those poor sad men and their breakdowns that we delight in. I really used to like those shows and movies. Yeah. But at least I... Came up with that magic pixie dream girl trope. Yeah, you didn't come up with that. I did though, I did. I copyrighted it and, and I made it and I need this. So. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video. If you'd like to subscribe, hit the C button in the middle. And if you'd like to see more videos, hit one of the boxes on the right. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button if you'd like to get more notifications about when our next video is coming out. Thanks.